Hello and welcome to Tank News. My name is Thương Huyền, and now just take a look at today's headlines. Province and city leaders directly conduct flood prevention. Tang Nguyen Province to quickly finish major projects to attract investment. Initial effectiveness of BMGFVN in Tang Nguyen. Prolonged and torrential rains have caused flooding in many areas in the province. On July the 3rd, the leaders of the province and the city went to check and conducted flood prevention. Mr. Dong Viet Thuan, vice chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, was present to supervise the works of flood prevention in Vo Nhai district. In the morning of July the 3rd, Many locations and intersects in the district were flooded with the deepest water level up to 1.5 meter. Local authorities and functional forces offered special means of transport to help people move through the flooded sections, especially candidates who rushed into the city for entrance examination. On the same day, Mr. Nguyen Văn Tuấn, chairman of Taiwan City People's Committee, also went to check flooding situation and directed the combined forces in terms of rescuing the affected households in the city including Hoàng Văn Thụ Street, Dương Tự Minh Street and Lương Ngọc Quyến Street and residential areas in Phan Đình Phùng and Quán Chiều Wards and the disposal area of Khánh Hòa Coal Mining. Under this situation, Taiwan City People's Committee ordered the police force to set up traffic signs, allowing the circulation of vehicles to move smoothly. The rescue force, in coordination with Kenghua Coal Mining, helped local people to move valuable property from the flooding area that caused the risk of insecurity by the disposal area just in town. In order to strengthen investment attraction, Tengwin has directed relevant departments, agencies and branches to synchronously finish major projects in the province. To date, Tengwin has four major projects which were planned by foreign consultant units, including Nukuk Lake Tourism Area, the Western Residential Area of Tengwin City and Administrative Center of Tengwin Province, the Yinbing Industrial, Agricultural and Service Complex, and the Thik Dan Residential Area. In addition, some other important projects are also being implemented relating to create new rural communes, build urban and residential areas, make plans for the five entrances to the province, etc. In recent time, departments, branches, and localities in the province have attracted and gave timely solutions to quickly finish projects under their management, which is hoped to contribute to attract more investment. However, the rate of progress of some projects, especially projects awarding investment certificates, needs to be hastened to avoid making negative impacts on state management and the daily life of residents in the affected areas. On the 29th of June, at Tangyuan University of Agriculture and Forestry, Tangyuan University Youth Union TNU launched the voluntary campaign to assist in the university entrance exam 2013. Since the 30th of June, the volunteers started their work at the main intersections of Taiwan Bus Station, Gate of Taiwan Teacher Training University and Mobak Junction. They started their support campaign as early as 7 a.m. on the 1st July, as early as 7 a.m. on the 1st of July. 220 volunteers will be present in 25 major traffic junctions of Taiwan City, which are near the exam venues. The volunteers will focus on guiding candidates on issues relating to the entrance exam, including consultancy about fighting hostels, which are cheap and secured. They also introduced some living quarters that are free of charge. The volunteer force will also collaborate with specialized task force to guide and control traffic on exam days at the major intersections. Due to the hot weather in June, the prices of some summer goods increased, which contribute to make the consumer price index of Taiwan province in this month raise by 0.08% in comparison to the previous month, 7.3% in comparison to the same period last year. 
In detail, the two commodities that helped the CPI to increase are household commodities, which increased 0.1% in comparison to the previous month and 2.42% in comparison to the same period last year. Cultural entertainment, tourism, goods increased 4.45% in comparison to the previous month and 5.71% in comparison to the same period last year. This fact is due to the high demand for tourism services during the summer holiday. Five other communities like beverage and cigarettes, medicines and health care services, garments, educational products, post and telecommunications maintained stability. Warriors, food and restaurant services, housing and building materials, transport services, gold and foreign currencies saw price decrease. In general, Tang Nguyen's CPI of the first six months of this year shows an increase of 7.3% compared to the same period last year and 6.73% higher than the average CPI of the nation, which proved the hassle and bustle of Tang Nguyen's consumer market. It is then forecasted that Tang Nguyen's CPI in July will see a slight increase in comparison to June. The project Building Computer Using and Public Internet Assessing Skills in Vietnam, which was officially launched in 2012, has had its equipment installation completed and are now being used at more than 700 public libraries and communal post offices nationwide. Tang Nguyen Province is one of the project beneficiaries, which has changed functions of the communal post offices and public libraries and simultaneously bringing about social economic advantages to local people by helping them approach information technologies. Tangwen Provincial Library has been a familiar place for readers who need to search for information, study online and do research. Equipped with more than 40 internet-connected computers, this access point has satisfied readers' aspiration for free internet. These achievements are contributions from the project Building Computer Using and Public Internet Assessing Skills in Vietnam, sponsored by Bill and Melinda Gates Fund and contribution from some domestic organizations. We do online math and English, and this has helped us widen our knowledge, and we also get to entertain ourselves after stressful lessons. Lưu Văn Toàn, communal officer in charge of cultural affairs in Ba Xuyên Commune, has now found his own way to study and search for knowledge assisting his profession. As a commune within the Building New Rural Area Program with the public library constructed, it has gradually met the cultural criteria of the project. Xin our commune received special attention from the local government, especially the Bill and Melinda Gates project. I find works more effective, and the local people and officers of different organizations have been updated with information in social economic development. Since the year of 2009, Taiwan has been one of the three provinces where the project was successfully piloted. Basing on this achievement, the government ratified implementation of the project Building Computer Using and Public Internet Assessing Skill in Vietnam. And Taiwan Province has become one of the 12 provinces participating in the first phase of the project, with 35 sites of investment. Today, Taiwan Provincial Library has organized 14 trainings for 200 learners who are communal officers and post officers. 100% of the project beneficiary have had equipment installed, including 250 computers, printers, headphones, and other facilities. From the implementation experience, we hope that the project management board will hold more propagation activities so that more people will be well informed about the project and hence participate actively in it. According to surveys, the assess points have attracted a lot of Internet users with an average of 8 to 12 hours use per day. Therefore, implementation of the project in Taiwan has brought about a high rate of effectiveness that influenced local people's cultural and mental lives, contributing considerably to narrowing the information technology gap between urban and rural areas. That comes to end the program today. Thanks for your watching and see you next time.